Yep, it says I'm live. That's a good thing. All right. Good morning, Tech Busters. How are you? I hope you're having a great Saturday. Hey, um, I just posted the um, the um, the issue with Facebook getting hacked in terms of the accounts. Uh, what I wanted to do today is to help you protect yourself with your Facebook account, and I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of how you can do that. Um, I actually got three today, and they're all in the same area, so this should be fairly straightforward. Um, but if you have any questions, uh, let me know. So we're going to start. If you're on your profile page, you're here. You're going to go over to the uh, right-hand corner where you see this little arrow. You're going to click on it, and you're going to go all the way. Oops! You're going to go all the way down. Looks like I can't see all my stuff. Let's try this again. All right. You're going to go all the way down to see settings. So click on settings. And what you're going to do, you're going to go to the security and login tab. So under security and login, you're going to see a couple of different things. So the first thing that I would suggest you do is if, you, if Facebook logged you off of your account, first thing I would suggest you do is change your password. So right here under login, whoops. Now let me move down. There we go. Under login, you're going to change your password. So you're going to go over here and edit. It's going to ask you what your current password is. And then you're going to put your new password in. And you're going to retype your new password. And then you'll sit, hit save changes. And when you do that, you'll have a new password. It may even ask you to log in again. So that's the first thing is to make sure you change your password. It's always good to change it every once in a while, too, because you never know who has access to your stuff. The second area I'm going to have you look at is this area, same area under security and login, where you log into. Now, where you log into, what this is going to show you, it's going to show you what devices are logged in under your Facebook account. So you'll now. It's not going to be an exact science. You, you're pretty much going to what I'm going to call the, the nearest location. So um, in my case, it's either Tacoa, Georgia. Sometimes it's even Alabama. But what I do is from time to time is I'll try to make sure I log off all my sessions. Now, what you'll see is my window sessions open because I'm on my laptop right now and my iPad I was on earlier. And that's about right. But what you'll see is all the sessions that I was logged on to. Now, you see a couple from Montgomery, Alabama. Could that be mine? Probably. If I saw something from Connecticut or Northeast, I might get a little, like this one, device unknown. If I don't know who the device is, what you're going to do is, and I would suggest you log off of these sessions from time to time. You know, some of us are just clicking the button up here, so it's not logging us off the session. So in a case like this, you're going to go over to where these three dots are. And basically, you're going to say, if it's not you, I mean, if you know it's like far away and it's like in California or wherever you are, wherever it's logged into and you're not, then put it's not you. Facebook will may require you to change your password, but you can just say log out. Now you can log out of all sessions. I'm not going to do that because if it, I do that, it's going to log me out of this session while I'm trying to record. So that's not going to be good. So I'm just going to, so it's simply log out. And again, when I'm done, I'm probably going to have Facebook log out of all these. But as you can see, as I'm logging out, it's shutting down those sessions. Just shut down my phone because I just saw a message from Facebook saying it was shut down. And that's fine because I can always log in again. So that's the second way that you can keep your account safe. The last way, again, it's all under security and login. So we did change your password, check to where you're logged in and make sure that it makes sense. And this seems like it's you. And I don't need the iPad account because the iPad is done. The last one is this two-factor authentication. So when I heard about the face, Facebook hack last night, first thing I did is I turned on two-factor authentication. 
Now you may be saying, well, what is that? Two-factor authentication basically means it's that when it doesn't recognize a device that you're logged onto, it's going to ask you for two forms of ID. So you know how like when you, you uh, maybe you use your online checking account from the bank and when it doesn't recognize your, your, um, your laptop or your phone, it will send you like a pin to your, it, it can either text it or sometimes it can email it to your account and you have to look for that, that pin number and you have to enter it into the screen. Well, that's exactly what this is. So basically what you would do is go down to use two-factor two authentication. So it's gonna ask for my password. All right, so now it's on. I have mine on because I turned mine on last night. If you wanted to turn it off, you simply, simply, I can't talk today, simply hit the button. If you want it on, you're going to go ahead and just click the turn it on button. It's gonna ask you, what do you wanna do? Do you want it, want it text? Do you want email? You know, you can set all these up. Mine's just sent to text, so my phone number actually gets the, uh, the text message here. So as soon, so like when I try to log on to my laptop since I just turned it on yesterday, as soon as I logged onto my laptop, it says, I'm gonna send something to your phone. I had to go get the phone, put the pin in, and away I went. Now, the next time I log into this machine, as long as Facebook recognizes the machine, then it's not gonna ask, it's just, I'm just gonna put my password in and that'll be the end. But now if somebody has taken what they call the, the codes that they were talking about in the, um, in the article that I posted, um, basically they would not be a lot, they would not be able to get into your account because they're coming from a different device. Facebook would say, hmm, I don't recognize this device. I'll send you a pin. Now, if you got a pin to your phone and you know you're not on the system, then you kind of know that somebody else is trying to hack into your account. So to me, this is just a little added security. It's not that big of a deal. And quite honestly, you probably use this now with your, um, with your, uh, your bank accounts now. So to me, it makes sense to go ahead and do that with this as well. So um, those are the three areas. So again, when you go into Facebook, you're gonna go down to here, go to settings, and all of the three that I suggested are all under security and login. You can check your password. You can check where you're logged into. Like right now, I'm only logged into this laptop. And I would recommend you turn on two-factor authentication. Again, straightforward, easy to use. You can either, I'm sure you can either email or have it text to your phone, whichever you prefer. And it's only going to prompt you for that, that uh, pin when it doesn't recognize the device. So I hope you got value from this. If you did, please put a comment below so I know that you've seen it and that you um, that uh, you got value from it. And if you have any questions, you, you can uh, put it in the group as well. All right, thanks guys, have a great day, bye.